Yeah, they will treat you right. Five minutes after 10 o'clock. It is one of the things I'm thankful for, by the way, is to have a mechanic who actually gets it fixed and helps me understand what's wrong and, and re- makes me realize that I have no clue. So Matt is here to help me with all those things. Uh, good morning, Matt. Good morning, Larry. How are you? I'm doing good. Sorry I was a little bit distracted. I was trying to figure out on this, this thing with the camera here. Uh, I'm, I'm think. I think I made you darker. Oh, here's the brightest thing. Okay, there you go. Now you're brighter. Okay, brighter. Yeah, I don't know how this thing popped up, but it did. Now, now you're there. Okay, Whew. <laughs> it, it was uh, dark and on your picture. So I didn't even know you could change the brightness on that thing. So how you doing? I'm doing good. Time for Thanksgiving. You ready for that? I am ready for Thanksgiving. So what do you need what, in in the car? Do, you, do any cars have ovens in them? Have you ever had a car with a, a RV? An RV has an oven? Yeah. Yeah. Mine did. Did you ever use it? No. <laughs> did you ever use a Dutch oven? What's a Dutch oven? See, me too. <laughs> it's a frying, it's a pot. It's a pot with a lid on it. And I, and I always think you can bake a cake in there? Oh, my wife just bought one of these things. I don't know. They call it a miracle dish. Yeah. Okay. And you put like, okay, you take like cake mix and put it in this bowl. <laughs> right. Put a Coke. A regular, like a can of Coke. Put really? It, mix it all up. Right. Put it in your microwave. And? And then a cake came out of it. Was it good? It was actually pretty good. <laughs> and then and then she took this chicken, and she put this chicken in there, <laughs> and left it in there for I don't know how many minutes, and it even came out brown. And the, the skin, like, was crunchy. Did you use Coca-Cola for that one, too? No no, 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 no. But she put, like, potatoes and broccoli and all kinds of stuff in there, and that chicken... Came and, out. I mean, dude, they came out, like, awesome. But is the microwave not big enough for a turkey. No. I have to have a big microwave for a turkey. Yeah, then I bought her one of those conventional-type convection microwaves. Uh-huh. That's Con- pretty cool. Convection microwave. Yeah. That sounds like two in one. It is. It's like you can do things just on the convection. It's got a heating element? Yeah, it's got, yeah, and hot air. Or something. I don't know how that stuff. I but just did, know how to fix cars. Did you, ever, did you ever realize that the word microwave is cancer? <laughs> 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 no, it's actually the opposite of a macro wave. Micro being small and macro being large. And a convectional oven convection oven whatever they're called the actual an old oven is a macro wave oh if you think about heat coming off of a heating coil or a flame it's got to be about as big as a wave can be i guess so <laughs> coming out of a flame <laughs> welcome to our appliance show today <laughs> <laughs> well there is heat in an engine and if you if you are bringing baked potatoes to the to your function that you're going to you can how long do you have to drive to bake a potato on I don't on have, a manifold? I don't know. I've never tried, but one of my guys used to cook his breakfast to, on on the way a lot to work. Of people do, said they do this. Yeah, potatoes especially. Potatoes especially. Well, if you're going camping, okay, and you get to the campground and you've been driving 200 miles, I guess maybe that's that's the limit. Put the potatoes in the in the aluminum foil and, and put them up against the manifold and drive 200 miles and. By the time you get going with the campground, you got baked potatoes. And there you have it. <laughs> what if you wanted mashed potatoes? <laughs> then you got to smash them up. Uh, so you going anywhere for th- on Thursday? No. Stay, staying around here? Yeah, we'll be in town. Are you, are you hosting? Fam- a family coming to your place? Not on Thursday or Friday. Um, we have a lot of, I have a lot of kids, and, and all these kids are, except for my, I have two, I think, that are going to be at the house. We're just going to hang out and just. Watch some football and just relax, and then. But Saturday, my youngest daughter, it's it's going to be her birthday. So we're going to actually do like Thanksgiving birthday on Saturday. Okay. Okay. Just because it's going to be, it's easier for all. I mean, we have six children, and they got they got in laws and yeah, in laws in laws. So you don't look old enough to have that circumstance. I know. What, Ooh, I just, break? I just tried to break myself. <laughs> um, yeah, that's but that's that's what it is, though. I mean, you know, it's it's just chaos. Do, do you know what I'm wondering if it's cost prohibitive as insurance? Like, like you mentioned an RV. Okay. I mean, insurance is is not cheap for cars, but it must be gigantic for an RV. No, it's really not that bad, and I think they take into consideration you know, an RV is not something you drive every day. 
Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And when you do drive the RV, uh, I know when I, when I used to drive mine, I was more attentive. You know, because you're it's a big giant it's gigantic, thing. Gigantic, yeah. You know, so yeah. you're you're just more attentive to everything that's going on, and you don't oh, okay. speed, and you don't swerve and trap. I don't drive like I drove with you that day. We were driving your car. Thank goodness you don't drive like that. <laughs> so. You know, it's uh, yeah, I think you act a little different. So therefore, the insurance is really not that. It wasn't that bad. Okay, and but for a car, I don't know. I, I think I have too many products on my insurance policy. Robin's husband was kind of pointing that out to me. You mean too many? I have too many products. I have, I think I have towing, a couple different times. <laughs> 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 yeah, you might want to look at that. I, mean, I don't even know how it happens. You, you get towing on a, like a loan that has nothing to do with a car. Like you have, have, a, have a, a towing policy or something. And life insurance on everything. If you die, we'll pay your insurance. Right. Okay. Well, right, right. Yeah. Anyway, this is a car show. The phone number to call if you want to... By the way, there was, are you into slot cars? No. One of the hot items on this year's Christmas list is slot cars. Really? Yeah, slot car tracks, slot car accessories, whatever. I saw Teddy Rubskin was coming back. Oh, that's the talking bear? Yeah. Well, you know, probably why. Why? Because when it first came out, we didn't really have the technology to do that. Now we do. Remember those things that used to talk to each other? Widgets or gizmos or something? There were two little furry dolls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were supposed to learn each other's language. Well, it didn't work. But now we've got technology that would work. Yeah, now they got to, well, they can teach us a new language. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Do you know any other languages? Uh, no. No? Not even Pig Latin? No. I, 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 I know Southern. You know Southern. Did anybody ever come into your garage that speaks Spanish? Or? Oh, yeah, all the time. Do you have a, a Spanish speaking person there? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Yep. Who? Philip? No, Santos. Oh, so, oh, that makes sense. Santos. Santos. This is his time of year. This is it. Santos is very excited right now. He's just loving life. Why is that? I don't know. I said his, He said it's going to be a beautiful day, and I'm thinking, man, I, if the sun comes out, we haven't seen the sun since when? I haven't seen it like since Friday. I guess. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I like it when So he's got out. a very good attitude? Yeah, he does. Well, maybe he's um, on to something. Hang out with Santos for the day. Come in down, come down to Sunrise Automotive and just chill out, have a cup of coffee, get your car fixed, and talk to Santos. And Santos's cars are called Santos cars. Santos cars. Santos cars. You have phone call. By the way, the phone calls are in, in, invited and encouraged. Six two two nine six two two. Maybe we'll talk about cars instead of uh, food or, and other things. Good morning. You're on the air with Matt. Good morning, uh, Matt. My name is Pete, and you have helped me with a question before, but I have another one for you. Okay. I have a, a Honda it's a CRV, and it's a, obviously it's a four door. And the rear doors in the lower corner of the rear door is a little t- piece of uh, clear plastic. It looks almost like kind of a little splash guard kind of a thing. Okay. And it's been on the car ever since I had it, and now it's starting to get a little discolored. Uh, I don't know if there's, you know, some water that got trapped underneath it or what, and it, I can't seem to really get a, a, a clean, I can't get it clean with my regular car wash uh, stuff. What, what, what is it? What, what is that splash guard, and how can I clean it? To be honest with you, Pete, I, I, I can't see what you're talking about. Um, I just can't visualize. It's on the back door. Mm-hmm. And when you, it, o- it, you see it when you open the door? No, sir. It's on the outside of the door. It's uh, if you were looking at the door and you, you looked at the lower right-hand corner, there's one on each side of the car. It's a little small piece of plastic about the size of the palm of your hand. It's fastened in to the uh, door at the bottom corner. Okay. Like it's a splash guard or a rock guard or something. I don't know. Anyway. Is it black? No, it's it's clear plastic, but it's gotten a little bit discolored over the years. I don't know. I don't know what you would use to what is this? To, cl- to clean it. I don't know. I'd have to see it. Wow. I can't. A lot of times when people call and ask me a question, I see what they're talking right, about. Right, right, right. I can't. I, the weather is. Oops, bro- sorry. I mean, come back. <laughs> Pete, you That's a way to get out of a question. <laughs> I'll, I'll swing by the. I'll swing by the shop one day. And okay, that, that'd be awesome. 
that okay, would thanks, that, that would be awesome. Wow. Yeah, I know what you mean. You're trying to see it. Uh, all right, let's let's do that weather that we were just supposed to do. We'll be right back with Matt. If you want to call, the number is 622-9622. We'll be right back with Matt. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. It'll be mostly sunny today, very warm and humid with a high of 84 to 88. Mostly cloudy and muggy tonight with a shower around those in the upper 60s. For tomorrow, mostly cloudy with some showers and heavier thunderstorms around. Highs in the 70s to near 80. And for Wednesday, mostly cloudy, breezy and cooler with some rain and a thunderstorm in the morning. Then just an afternoon shower. Highs generally in the 60s. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Eat like you're in elementary school and you'll have more energy. In other words, pack a banana and peanut butter sandwich. Would you like to have better dreams? Listen to me. This is great intelligence. Just sleep on your right side. If you're surfing the internet or playing games while connected to your employer's Wi-Fi network, experts say you should assume the boss knows what you're doing. So switch off your phone's Wi-Fi on the job. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Your home is safe, or is it? AA Lock, Dock, and Security. The name has been a staple in Ocala since 1985. Do you have the right equipment in place to have peace of mind when you are at home or away? AA Lock, Dock, and Security has the right people to install and monitor your home or business. Call today for a free on-site security analysis. Call 867-1965. AA Lock, Dock, and Security, 219 Northwest 10th Street, 867-1965. All right, let's return to Matt Gibbs. He is the owner of Sunrise Automotive, by the way. Boy, I didn't introduce you well at all today. Uh, the show is called Auto Repair with Personal Care. Matt is my mechanic, Robin's mechanic, Robin's mom's mechanic, Dan's mechanic, Joe's mechanic, Tish's mechanic. I don't think there's anybody here who he's not worked on the car for. Uh, and your mechanic right now on the phone, if you want to call 622-9622, and somebody is on the phone. Good morning. You're on the air with Matt. Yeah, good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Yeah, I, I got a uh, 05 Ford Expedition. Okay. Um, and between 45 and 50 miles an hour, it's starting to miss. I don't have any lights coming on at all. Can you tell me anything about that? <clears throat> yep, I sure can. Um, it's an 05. Do you know if it's got the 5.4? Yes. Okay. And there's two things on the 5.4. It could be uh, a coil breaking down, because right at that 45 to 55 mile an hour range is, is probably the biggest load that you'll put on that engine uh, with the transmission torque converter engaging and whatnot. So we need, to, even though the light's not on, I can still go in with a scanner, and I can go into programming uh, the programming part of your computer and I can look at some data to find out which cylinder it is that's misfiring on so it, it's it could be a coil or it could actually be a cracked spark plug if it's a 5.43 valve engine it's very very possible that one of the spark plugs have actually cracked and how many miles are on this car? Uh, 82,000 okay um the, typically, typically you don't see a spark plug cracking until after 100,000 miles, and it's very, very important on that particular engine to replace those spark plugs at 100,000 miles. Uh -huh. It's very critical, um, and, and, it, and it's not something that you just want anybody to do. It's a job that requires a, a special technique. The spark plugs in them are unlike any spark plug you've ever seen. And... Uh, but yeah, if you brought it by, we could hook it up to uh, we could hook it up to the computer, and and I can determine whether or not that you know which cylinder it's actually misfiring on, and then we just go from there and start finding out why is it missing on that particular cylinder. Do you charge? Uh, you know, check it out. Yes, sir. There would be a charge. Uh, there would be a, a ninety dollar charge, and what that ninety dollars does is it allows us to go in and run full diagnostics on it. If I come up with a you know uh, uh, a solution to the problem, and, and I'll give you a price on what it would take to fix it. Uh, if you choose not to fix it, then you pay the ninety dollars. If you bring it back within thirty days, um, we would still apply that ninety dollars toward the repair. 
So okay. I, I try to do that on things. You know, when when my my all my guys employees they 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 get paid by what they do. They didn't, they don't get paid by the time they spend there. They get time they get paid by what they repair. So I try to make it to be fair for for them, for the customer, and everybody. So. Um, that 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 that's what it would be is ninety dollars to find out what it is. Now I can scan it. If there's no check engine light, then there's probably not a code stored. So, but if there was a a code stored, I could just I could scan it for you for free and just say, hey, this is your code. The, the first time it happened was about a year ago, and it, uh, I was getting ready to go down to down South Florida, and I filled up with gas and all you do. And I was driving along, and it started missing and bucking, and I, I didn't know what was going on. So I put, so the light did come on at that time. Okay. And according to the book, it was the catalytic converter. You know, that's what showed up. Okay. I put some, uh, I put some uh, gas cleaner in it and decided to keep going on, and it cleaned, cleared up, and it drove really beautiful, you know, the whole way. And it just it does this from at 45 to 50 from time to time, not all the time, right. you know? Yeah, typically you got to get it right at a, a certain spot, a certain load, and it'll it'll right. start doing it. You, really, you think it's a claw pack, right? Um, until I actually diagnose it, that's a possibility. It's, it's not a coil pack. Those are individual coils on there. So you have eight coils over each each cylinder has its own coil. Okay. A coil pack is, is you know, uh, has multiple coils coils for multiple cylinders but those are individual coils let me ask you a question i'm going on a trip to christmas uh, i'm going to Asheville, north carolina okay um is it am i safe to do that with this problem or do you think it should be fixed before well at least looked at um because if if it is something that's breaking down under a load if you're going up on the if you're going up in the western side of north carolina going up the mountains and stuff then you're really going to put a load on it Okay. So I would definitely want to know what what am I looking at before I t- took off and went to North Carolina. Where are you guys located? Uh, we're at 1800 Northwest 10th Street, right on hi- it's Highway 27. Okay, on on the on east of 441 or west. If you were coming up 441, if you uh, and you were heading toward the interstate on 27. When you get to the uh-huh. light at Martin Luther King, we are uh-huh. the fourth building on the left As if uh-huh. you are heading toward the interstate. Okay, got you. Okay. All right, well, thank you. I appreciate, appreciate your help. Not a problem. Thank you. Yeah, that one and the other call, both, both of them sound like having you look at it might be a good idea, even for the little plastic thing, whatever, yeah, whatever that was. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, a good, good couple of good calls. The uh, phones are open now. If you want to call Matt, the number is 622-9622, 622-WOCA. And, yeah, Matt's location is pretty easy to find. It's kind of, yeah, you have to go past it and then make a U-turn, usually. Yeah. The way I go. Well, you could pull into that other parking lot and drive over if you want to. You don't have to make a U-turn on 27. You can cross over. Oh, okay. 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 I think you told me that once before, and yeah. I'm just forgetting where that is now. It's it, just all, west those, of you. Yeah, those two buildings are. We're all linked. Right, in. right, we're all linked right, in. right, right. Um, yeah, and, and what he just referred to is the traveling, a distance for the holidays, whether it's Thanksgiving or Christmas or anything really, um, and anything like that always makes me worried. Anything. Yeah, it should you you know, bring it in, have it checked. You know, one good thing that we do is when we do, an, even if we do an oil change. I mean, we check all the fluid levels. We check all the right, lights. We right. check the wiper blades. We, you know, try to really do a quick check. You know, especially. And then if someone says, "I'm going on a trip," we, we, you know, we, we, and it's no extra charge. It's just part of what we do. And also, you know, now that we're in the holiday seasons, we have gift cards available. If 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 somebody wants a gift card, that's for somebody, a good idea. You know, and, yeah. and it's not for anything in particular. You just put a, a dollar amount on the gift card, and 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 anybody that puts a hundred dollars on a gift card, they get a free oil change. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, wow. So if 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 someone wants to come in and, and give their son, a daughter, a neighbor, wow, a, a hundred dollar gift card, they get a free oil change themselves. Wow, that's a huge savings. So that's that's a good deal. Yeah, that sure is. 
Is it is it the uh, Schaefer's oil? No, it, no. Be, it but it is a, a synthetic oil. But you can add to it and make. Yeah, it you could if you wanted to add to pay the difference. You could get uh, Schaefer's oil. Is Schaefer's oil a cleaning oil too? Yes, it, it it's it's wonder it's a, it's a wonderful. So it'll product. clean out any sludge that might be in there. Yeah, we had a we had a woman that bought a she bought a used car mm-hmm. at a, a a dealer and it was gummed up really bad. I mean, it had a lot of oil deposits, carbon deposits, and and we would go in and we'd change her oil. We started doing it like every thousand miles just to help clean it up. And then when I was introduced to Schaefer's, I said, let me let me just try this and see yeah, what happens. Yeah. And it just one time. One time, it cleaned up this motor. Uh, I mean, it was... Wow, I should do that then. It, it was unbelievable, the difference that it made. How much would an oil change cost for me if I use Schaefer's oil? Seventy nine ninety five. Really? Yeah. My goodness. And it's and it's good for 6,000 miles. I'm going to... I'm going to see, I, my car uses oil, as you know. Not, not too much, but it, either that or it's leaking a little bit. I'm not so sure. So I put a cord in the other day, and I went to Discount Auto, I think is what it was called, and and I said to, he said well what are you looking for I said oil and he said what kind I said the kind for my car and he said well let me look it up so he looks up my car and he says oh you need five W thirty okay and I said really well I'm glad you told me I always get ten W thirty because I guess that's what I've always got okay I said well, why is that he said well because the small is the hole is smaller so you need a smaller molecule okay. <laughs> now, this is what I don't understand. I thought the five represented the size of the molecule when it was heated. It's five W thirty. It's the five is when it's hot. Look at it. Look at the thirty is when it's cold. No, no, no. But here, here's here's the thing. Here's here here's the thing. Think of it like this. Um, if you have water, it has a certain weight value to it. Right. You know? And if you have maple syrup, you have a certain weight value to it. Right. Well, the, the the water value would be the five value, and the maple syrup would be the thirty value. Okay. Okay. And then and it, it is associated with heat, right? And temperature. Okay. okay. And 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 what's happening is is that the manufacturers are they are micro machining these things today, where there's a back in the day the tolerance was this. You know, big, you, big, big, big. You had this okay. huge tolerance right. of these things. Now the machining part of it, the 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 technology of it, has gotten it so much more precise that it doesn't need syrup anymore to keep things lubricated to take up that space okay, sure, of the okay. tolerance. So um, straight thirty weight that never becomes thinner. No, no, we we don't want to. We don't talk about. Sh- straight 30 weight. But it's but it's on the shelves. Yeah, and if you have a lawnmower, that's put straight 30 weight. <laughs> uh, okay. But but I guess my question is, so that oil as it heats up never becomes thinner. It 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 stays to that viscosity. So it never so it doesn't right. matter. Oh, okay. And 5W or 5 wait, 5 5 what is it called? 5W 5, 5, 5W20, 5W30. Now Toyota, the new Toyotas are coming out with 0W 0 0 Zero W twenty or zero W five or so something. It heats I, up and it, and it becomes very it's, super thin, like water. Right. It's it's just a it's just a and and when we raced, we wanted to use as thin oil as we could. Thinner is less friction. Less friction is more power. There might be a more temperature, but you know you gotta you, you sit there and, and weigh it out. So we tried to we tried to use the thinnest oil that we could possibly use in our in a race car, you wow, know. Wow. Uh, so a $100 gift card, you get a, a free, free oil, oil change. change. But if you want Schaefer's added, you got to add some money to it, right? Yes, and, it, and also I do want to stipulate, too, that if you had a diesel, that you would have to pay the difference in the diesel. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Matt, what is your phone number? My phone number is 352-690-1993. Okay. Uh, and once again, where are you? What's your address again? 1800 Northwest 10th Street. Which is Highway 27. And do you own a um, a GPS system? Oh, yeah. You like GPS? I, I, I got a whole bunch of GPSs. <laughs> I don't have one. We were giving away maps at Light of Ocala, and I heard a lot of people saying, I don't need that. I got a GPS. Yeah. Right here, buddy. I still have a map, though. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. That was fun. All right, we'll be right back. Have a great Thanksgiving. Yeah, by you the too, Larry. By the way, we'll be right back.
This is a Fox News Alert. I'm Pat O'Neill. A top White House official says Secretary of State Chuck Hagel is resigning from President Obama's cabinet. Hagel, a former GOP senator, has served as Pentagon chief since early last year. The watch is still on in Ferguson, Missouri, as a grand jury considers whether to indict a white police officer in the killing of an unarmed black teen. State Highway Patrol Captain Ron Johnson determined to keep the peace. The character of this community will shine through, but we're not going to let anyone that's uh, intent on changing Changing that character or causing disruption to this community to have that chance. The decision could come as early as today. Traveling could be tricky Wednesday into Thanksgiving for parts of the Northeast. Parts of New Jersey, Connecticut, New York could be looking at as much as 6 to 10 inches of snow. New York City itself is not included. We're going to be looking at more of a rain-snow mix. Fox's Maria Molina in Buffalo. Meanwhile, flood warnings remain in effect after last week's snowfall. Fox News, we report, you decide. Napa tire gauges are now just $1.99. The perfect gift for anyone who owns a car with tires. But when giving the gift of a $1.99 tire gauge, don't put it in one of those long jewelry boxes with a giant red bow and your wife's name on it. Because while a $1.99 tire gauge from Napa can be useful, it can't keep you warm at night. Conquer the job with Napa know-how. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores while supplies last. Offer expires 12 31 14. Geico RV presents Reflections from the Road. After a few hours riding in my RV, I get in the zone. It's just me, the road, and the savings I get with Geico RV insurance. There's no more worries, no more 9 to 5 hustle. It's like I'm a caged animal set free. What's that? Is it a grizzly bear? No, it's just me switching to Geico RV insurance. Saving money, wild and free. Geico, for your RV, trailer, or camper. See how much you could save. This year, thanks to the efforts of the Bad Gift Givers Anonymous Association for the Givers of Bad Gifts, better known as the BGGA, the ratio of bad gift giving has been drastically reduced since our last commercial. But there is still much work to be done, and we need your help. Ties and sweaters just won't do this year. Join the thousands, nay, hundreds of thousands of smart people who said enough is enough and went to Ocala Aviation, where they purchased the gift above all other gifts, the present that soars above all other presents, the one that makes your friends jealous that they didn't think of it first. That's right. I'm talking about a discovery flight from Ocala Aviation. Whatever bad gift you were thinking of, stop. We're here to help. Let us convert that bad idea into a great one. For only $99, you can give the gift of flight, a discovery flight from Ocala Aviation. Call today. It's not too late. 861-7484. That's 861-7484. Keep up with what's going on in the downtown area with Ocala Downtown Newspaper. Delivering thousands of newspapers to businesses in the downtown area, Ocala Downtown is there to keep you informed. They even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about it. It's simple. For more info, just call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223, and pick up your copy of the Downtown Ocala Newspaper today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper online. Hi, my name is Dr. Erica Alstein with A Better You Healthcare Acupuncture in Eastern Medicine. As primary care physicians, we use acupuncture to treat back pain, arthritis, migraines, allergies, high blood pressure, thyroid disorders, hormone imbalances, stress, and more using all natural medical therapies. We 